What was a knuckleball Schwartz, the uh, baseball thing? Uh, could you explain that one to me? Okay, a knuckleball Schwartz. You remember the movie The Warriors? I've never seen it. Okay, it's a, it's a movie about these uh, these gangs, and some and one of them was a baseball game where they had that face on, and they walked around with bats, and, and they were a street gang that fought other gangs. So back then, the, the movie was kind of popular. Do you remember Damien Demento? Yes. He was a very good artist. I gave him a napkin. I said, draw me a face and make the face be a baseball. He drew it beautiful. I walk into Vince's office. I knock on him. I, I put it in front of him. His glasses tilt to the tip of his nose. And he goes, ooh. I said, it's never. No, he goes, I'll give it some thought. To me, that's a no. <laughs> I said, it's never been done before. He goes, really? That that caught his that caught him more than anything that he's going to do something that no one has ever never ever did before. Uh, was it only going to be for a few months because the baseball season had been cancelled? Well, no. What happened was the baseball season wasn't cancelled. They weren't on strike yet. So we did. We were doing. We were doing goofy vignettes like where I would be on a baseball field with a whole team, and I would I would blast the ball out there, and it would be like like I'm a big shot, and it would pan out, and it would be a little league baseball team. It was stuff like that. Then all of a sudden, right in the middle of building this thing, the strike hit. Vince is like seeing, oh my God, send him out with a strike sign. You know, so I'm walking through the audience, I'm on strike. And that's where they started saying, well, he's on strike, this baseball player, he's on strike. And then all of a sudden, the baseball player is going to start wrestling. He's, I start wrestling. You know, and they, they, they let me win for a while. Then one day, Vince says, there's too much paint in the territory. There's you, there's Doink, there's Gold Dust. And me, is Jokey young kid, I said, get rid of Doink. <laughs> I'll Vince, I'm, he, I go, I just, I thought you, were, I said, I, I thought you were going to nurture it. He goes, nurture, like, like, that, like that was an odd thing to say, you know. But they, they, they lasted about six, seven months. And uh, just because you mentioned Doink as well, which Doink were you in the long the list third, of Doinks? I was the third Doink. This is how Doink came about. I get, I'm, I'm off. Uh, I get a call at, at my house. It's Vince. I'm washing my car in the driveway. My wife gets the call. She calls me. Vince is on the phone. Vince, holy shit. This is, this is the exact call. Steve, Vince. Yeah, Vince, how, how, what do you need? Oh, I know I could ask you anything. He goes, I need you to rest, Brett, wrestle Bret Hart in Calgary as the main event. I said, no problem. I wrestled Bret many times. It's easy. He goes, the only difference is it's as doink. I went, Vince, the paint job. I've never done it. I've never had a paint on my face in my life. He goes, ha, 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 I knew you were going to say that. He goes, we're going to fly you from your house to Stanford, Connecticut. Jill, the makeup girl, is going to teach you the paint job, give you all the paint. No, no. First, we're going to fly you to Cleveland to get the suit for Matt Bourne's wife. Then we're going to fly you to Stanford. I missed that part. And then you're going to teach me to do the paint job. Then you're going to jump on a plane and go all the way to Calgary. Then you're going to and try, try doing a paint job in front of Kurt Henning. And, and it's the first time. And you know, I'm in the main event. And Kurt's below me. And so, so, so what, he's, he's pushing my arm. He's trying to screw me up. So I finally get the, the, the job done. And Doink was the, the hottest heel at that time. So when I walked through the through the curtain, the reaction I got was insane. And I go from Brooklyn Brawler to I mean it was insane. And I just go in with Brett, and Brett's easy to wrestle. He's very easy. Did uh, did anybody in the audience go? It's 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 Brooklyn Brawler, no. it's Brooklyn Brawler. No. No. They never knew I was doing or Kim Chi till later in life when I stopped doing it all. And I exposed it all. I mean, I was doing the clown, Brooklyn Brawl, Kim Chi, MVP. Well, I wanted MVP. He says, we can't use MVP. We'll be sued by the baseball associate. And then he bring in MVP. MVP. <laughs> Call me Mem Melvin Vern Peterson. How's that? You know what I mean? Like he, you know, it's, it's crazy. One, one time I, I was in the gym and I met these guys from the American Chappers. I don't know if you guys got that show out there. I've heard of it. Chappers. So those guys meet me and they, they recognize me. They say, would you pass the message to Vince McMahon that we will build a motorcycle and give it to him if he lets us do an episode on him in our, in our show? 
so now it's like, holy shit, I got, I'm going to hit a home run. I'm going to go to Vince, and I'm going to tell Vince this. He's going to go, oh, my God, look what he just got, a, a deal for us. I walk into Vince's office. I tell him the whole deal. The first thing he says is, don't you realize they're the same time slot as us? And we would be giving them the rub. They would not be giving us a rub. I said, no, I wasn't aware of that. So you have a question. He's going to, the statement he's going to say to you, that's your first yeah, like you gotta, you gotta pre, you, you can't, you can't, ex, you never know what to expect from him. You know, he'll always come out with more knowledge, more, more, um, more knowledge than you have, I should say. And um, before I forget, how come you weren't doing longer? I can't remember who it went to in the end. Well, off doing, and then when Matt, Matt Bourne died, the, the dot com puts out Doink the Clown dies. Instead of Matt Bourne, who played Doink the Clown, passes, they put Doink the Clown pass. On, on WWE.com. I, I told those guys, you're the dumbest son of a bitches I've ever seen in my life to do that. You, 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 you buried the gimmick. You didn't bury the man. You know what I mean? So that, that, that's, that's my thoughts of that. That's why they killed me. No, I was, I was actually asking uh, when you were doing it in 93, how come you didn't do it for longer? Well, they were fading it out. They were fading it out. You know, no more Matt. They had Steve Kern for a while. They had me. And, you know, everything, everything died for a while. And then uh, Tiger Jackson had to go as well, I suppose, at that point. Oh, the little of the dink? Yeah, dink, yeah. Dink, yeah. Yeah, they, they got rid of him too. <laughs> he, oh, he, he was terrible. He was terrible, that guy. <laughs> Odd things. But he's, he, he, he's being funny and he's, he's sitting in the car and he goes, you goof. I say, shut the, shut the hell up. And then Rick Martel's in the car too and he's sticking up for the, for the clown because they're both French-Canadians. You know what I mean, and uh, but what a wise guy, little little wise guy. 